Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully you're killing it in the markets. And if not, don't worry. Uh, I'm right there alongside you. I own the same stuff that you own. Uh, I do believe that we are in the right sectors at the right time in the right stuff. But in the short, short term, we could be seeing some pressure to the downside. And I continue to say that in a lot of my clips, uh, but I am not a short term trader. I don't care about necessarily the short term. If the short term pulls back, I buy more. If it goes up, I wait. And I'm going to go over gold and silver. I'm going to do some technical analysis in gold and silver. This is just financial education. It's not advice. You guys are going to have to do your own due diligence on what's right for you. So I'm going to jump right into charting here. And I'm going to go over one thing in the beginning about accumulation phases. So here's, here's gold and silver. <clears throat> and I have a chart of Bitcoin. Uh, I just chose it because it's a very easy one to see. Bitcoin ran way up, <clears throat> and then it pulled on back, pulled on back, and then we went into what's called an accumulation phase. From here, the selling climax all the way over, and to we break this accumulation phase is an accumulation phase. It, the stock goes nowhere, and it just kind of moves sideways. That's where you want to accumulate. It's called the accumulation phase. It's when the ratio is cheap for commodities or whatever commodity you're buying. In this case, it's gold and silver. You buy the heck out of it, <clears throat> and then you wait. And then you buy the back test or retest. So I'm going to show you some, some phases here. And I'll show you the accumulation phase and what's going on. So I'm looking at these from a big picture perspective. And I know people are getting discouraged on gold and silver because it's not moving up. And I'm going to tell you this, money is made by waiting. It's not made by being impatient. I've got this chart here. It's of GDX. This was the downward phase. And this was an upward phase from 09 to 2011 was an upward phase. We went through this downward phase <clears throat> and then we went into an accumulation phase from 2016 all the way to 2021 in the beginning of 20, or I should say 2020. We popped out of the accumulation phase and then we did a back test of this accumulation phase. This is where you buy, you buy the back test. We came up and we're pulling on back. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a pullback here. If you're an experienced investor, you would be buying in this retest area because we haven't moved up yet from the accumulation phase. This is the accumulation phase in here. All through here is the accumulation phase, and we're going to see this big move higher eventually. But we're, we're moving sideways, kind of dragging along uh, above the breakout. But it broke out. It broke to the upside of that accumulation phase. It's saying it's ready, but we're moving sideways, and we just haven't taken off yet. But we're getting closer and closer every passing day. GDXJ has that same trait. We have the accumulation phase down here where it stopped going down. We popped higher. It went sideways. This was a huge accumulation phase. And then we broke out and we back tested. This is where I like buying things. So this is, so we've got the down phase, the accumulation phase, and then we're going to see an up phase. We're just not there yet. We're, we just broke to the upside and, and are hanging out. Here's SilJ putting in a massive pattern. Uh, these are all weekly patterns. These are big boy patterns. Came across, we're still back inside of this channel, or this chart pattern, I should say. It's a chart pattern. Still inside the pattern. We just have to be patient. <clears throat> the smart thing here would be to accumulate when this downward move stops and, start and turns and goes back up. That is when I'm going to accumulate. You buy some more and then you just hold on. The pattern on this is gigantic. It's a very large launching pad and it hasn't broken out yet. This is the perfect time to accumulate shares in undervalued assets for the long haul for the next 10 years. Here's sand. I drew its pattern in here. This is just one big flag pattern perhaps. And we're gonna move sideways a little bit, come to a point and then break and move massively higher. EXK, we're, we're still in this accumulation phase. I think this is going to be a big breakout and a big move. We tried breaking out. We pulled back down underneath this phase here. 
Maybe we'll put like a little cup pattern or something, whatever the pattern is. We still have more time to accumulate, which is good. Wheat and precious metals. Uh, this had a very large downtrend line <clears throat> and an uptrend line. We broke the uptrend line here, or I should say the, the downtrend line. We broke the downtrend and we're in an uptrend now. And we're moving on higher. This is what we want. This is, this is looking great. Franco Nevada never had a downtrend. It just kept going higher. Downtrend on a, on a, on a big picture perspective. So that one looks great. Oh, Cisco Gold Royalties is coming up. It's pulling back to retest this breakout. I would buy this retest back test um, when it comes back down and, and turns. Not quite yet. <clears throat> Platinum, if you take out the COVID sell-off here, we've been in this, this pattern here. We just came down and, and touched the bottom of the pattern and we're moving on higher. So this one, wherever it goes, I can't tell you the path if it turns down, moves up, goes all over the place. It's still in the pattern and looks good. <clears throat> Now we've got PLG, Platinum Group Metals. Remember the accumulation phase I was talking about. This is the accumulation phase. This is a bottom, shoulder, head, shoulder. It's developing. Give it some time. But it's, it's developing this, and eventually we're going to break and move on up. That looks good. And then uh, Anglo-American Platinum, another one that's putting in a large accumulation phase in this bottoming pattern here. Now, <clears throat> I know people, they just, they just want everything to go up. They want it to go straight up. They want the, this easy ride that just goes straight up, but that's not how markets work. They're going to fling you around. The bull is going to try to buck you off, and you're going to get impatient and probably sell out if you're a new investor. The way I view this stuff is you accumulate in the accumulation areas. You accumulate your, your investments, and then you just wait and hold. It is literally that boring. Uh, lots of stocks really don't go much of anywhere for a little while, and then all of a sudden they break, and they take off and run a, a whole big amount. That's what we're investing for is that big break and run. If you're waiting for this large confirmation, and you get this confirmation where it just starts running uh, very fast, and you're not paying attention to it, then, you, then you'll be left out. So right now, I'm really just waiting for this to bottom out, turn, and then I'll accumulate some more. Uh, that, that's my plan. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.